It's happening. The signs of the last day's prophecies are happening just as Bible prophecy foretold. And it's revealing. We are nearing the end of this age of grace and the appearance of our Lord Jesus Christ for his church. And this signs of the last day's ministry is here watching with you and praying with you as we declare the biblical signs of the true prophetic path from now to the appearance of Lord Christ Jesus. So people can get ready now for that appearance of the Lord Jesus for his church. Thank you so much for being a part of this signs of the last days ministry community, praying and giving to support this ministry. There's news where Russia is mocking the nations of the world in Mongolia as they brazenly defy international law and norms and expose the reality of the weakness of the nations to stand up to Russia, which is revealing that the conditions right now in the world regarding Magog Russia and the West is exactly the same as prophesied to happen in the Gog of Magog prophecy of Ezekiel, which describes exactly the same reality we see happening now in the world with Russia and the nations. The country of Mongolia has just received Putin, the president of Russia, in a welcome with full state honors as they rolled out the red carpet for Putin with the Mongolian Honor Guard. As Putin, with the president of Mongolia, reviewed the honor guards of both present and ancient Mongolia, and then met and shook hands with long lines of state officials, with Putin greeting all the Mongolian officials and the president of Mongolia greeting all Russian officials. And then the two leaders ascended together the red carpeted stairs of the Mongolian State House to rousing music, with Putin and the Russian officials reveling in the pomp and ceremony of the great reception in this major state affair in Mongolia while the International Criminal Court of the Nations at the same time were protesting with Mongolia as to why they were not arresting Putin, who they say is a fugitive. The World International Criminal Court, or ICC, at The Hague, under the Rome Statute of the Rome Treaty, has international powers to issue arrest warrants for war criminals and to prosecute them and to render sentencing with verdicts carried out. The World International Criminal Court, a year and a half ago, issued an international arrest warrant for Russia's Putin for war crimes against children in Ukraine. And every country that is an ICC member state is obligated to detain and surrender to the court any person subject to an ICC arrest warrant if they set foot on their soil. And Mongolia is a member of the ICC and was obligated to have to arrest Russia's President Putin as soon as he landed on Mongol soil. Instead, Mongolia completely ignored the nations and their world court and welcomed Putin rolling out the red carpet with guards of honor for him as the president of Mongolia welcomed him to their capital. As Mongolia ignored its responsibilities of membership to the ICC world court, while Putin and the Kremlin officials in Mongolia, they mocked the world court saying they had no worries there in Mongolia, as Russia's leadership, they said, had a wonderful dialogue with their friends in Mongolia. And the Kremlin's press secretary, Dmitry Peskov, said that institutions of the nations like the, EC, like the ICC, he said they cannot stop Russia. With him saying that Russia will regardless continue bilateral relations and international contacts 
and that Russia, as shown in Mongolia, will now not be stopped by the nations. And Russian news agencies reported that the two leaders of Russia and Mongolia had good discussions of cooperation now and for the future between them for industry, agriculture, transportation, and educational programs and exchanges. And Putin, during the visit, he invited the Mongolian president to the BRICS Summit of Economies that will take place in Russia just a little later this year. As Mongolia and, of course, Russia completely ignored all the protests of the nations concerning this Russian trip to Mongolia, that was a blatant violation of the orders of the World Court of the Nations. The reason Mongolia, which is sandwiched in between her two powerful neighbors of Russia and China, the reason that Mongolia did nothing other than completely go along with Russia is because they could do little if anything else. They have no military that could ever stand up to Russia. Also, Mongolia is very dependent on Russia for oil and electricity. And Mongolia knew that no other nation was going to show up to help Mongolia to arrest Putin, that's for sure. And of course, Putin and Russia, they know this. As Putin and his Kremlin regime of Russia brazenly these days defy international law and the international order of nations, mocking their court and ignoring its orders as the nations are showing their weakness before the brazen aggression of Russia. Were Putin officially a fugitive from justice with the world court? just brazenly went into a nation member state of the ICC without any fear of arrest and carried on diplomatic business relations. As Putin exposed the weakness of the nations to stand up to and to stop Russia, with this event a clear demonstration of how powerless the West is in the face of the Russian reality among the nations in the world, where Putin and the Kremlin have contempt for and will challenge the international norm and will make and play by their own rules irregardless of what the West and their allies think and say. And these current conditions that are revealed in this event is entirely prophetic, described in the Holy Bible prophecies of the last days where just as Magog Russia just now mocked the world in Mongolia, ignoring their protests, it is a direct sign of the nearing fulfillment of the Gog of Magog prophecy of Ezekiel chapter 38, where the prophecy describes exactly this same reality that we have just seen happen. It describes this same reality will be in place in the world when Magog Russia and its allies, as described in the Ezekiel 38 prophecy, when they will in brazen aggression, the prince of Rus over the Russians will also use these conditions to come against Israel, where the prophecy using the ancient biblical tribal names describes powerful Magog Russia together with Persia, Iran, and Tubal Tugarma of Turkey, describing how that they will soon come together against an Israel that is powerless by themselves to stand up against Gog of Magog and its allies, where Russia will then again on the border of Israel, they will ignore the protests of the nations of the West as her and her allies gather against Israel, where they will again show contempt for the international norm and will make their own rules irregardless of what the nations of the West and their allies will say as described in the Ezekiel 38 prophecy and their protest against Magog Russia accusing them of coming to take plunder. As Russia, <clears throat> together with her allies of Persia, Iran, and Togomer of Turkey, Russia will 
determine their own reasoning and justifications for Russia and her allies to take action against the border of Israel and the nations will again show their weakness to stand up to and face off with Russia to keep them with Iran and Turkey from invading Israel's border. And Russia mocking the nations and their world court from Mongolia, ignoring their protests, reveal that the conditions are now manifested in the world for the Gog of Magog prophecy to soon be fulfilled in the last days to where Magog Russia and her allies of Persia, Iran, and Tagarma of Turkey. They will come to the borders of Israel. For them, according to their own rules and their own reasons and their own rights, will say that they have the right to cross the border of Israel, which will cause major repercussions in the world, changing the world for the fulfillment of end time prophecies. These events and conditions that I have described to you that have just happened in the world this week, they are happening now as warning signs in the world, pointing to the nearing fulfillment <clears throat> of the last day's prophecies at the end of this age. Revealing that it's time to prepare now for the nearing appearance of Jesus Christ for his church by being born again into the kingdom of God as Lord Jesus said that we must in John chapter 3 in verses 3 through 5 by the water and the spirit and as his apostles authorized and sanctioned by Lord Jesus in Matthew 16 verses 18 through 19 described how in the acts of their preaching in the acts of the apostles chapters 2, 8, 10, and 19. The signs are warning. The time is now to be prepared for the appearance of the Lord Jesus Christ. And if you would like help finding someone in your area where you're located to biblically pray for you and baptize you according to the acts of the preaching of Jesus and his chosen apostles actually in their Holy Bible scriptures, we are here for you. We are the emergency management center of the born again gospel of Jesus Christ, where you can contact us here at Signs of the Last Days Ministry to help you find someone in your area. Our contact information is on our website, signsofthelastdays.org.org, where you can go to the website and go down to the very, very bottom. At the bottom of the page in the footer and smaller print, you'll find our email address, please. Just email us. We'll be so happy to hear from you. And give us the name of your town and your state and also your zip code. The zip code is very helpful. With your request, and we will be glad to respond to your email and to help you, just like we've helped scores and scores of people all across the United States and in other nations. The prophecies are coming true. The perilous times of the last days are here. The need is greater than ever before for prophetic ministry like signs of the last day's ministry to declare the signs of the nearing appearance of Lord Jesus. And this ministry is in a campaign for Christ Jesus to declare the biblical signs of the true prophetic path from now to the appearance of Christ Jesus the Lord and to declare the born again salvation preached by Lord Jesus and his chosen apostles in their Holy Bible scriptures. Please join together with us now in this mission of Christ Jesus by giving your donation in the amount that the Lord leads you on our website, signsofthelastdays.org, on the giving page. Also, our mailing address is on the giving page as well. And a link is provided down below. We thank you for being a part of this prophetic ministry. We thank you for being a part of this prophetic declaration of the great promise of the coming of Christ the Lord by helping this prophetic ministry to share the signs of Bible prophecy to the world. Please be watching for our next video and also for our next watch and pray live stream broadcast. as our watch and pray live stream on Sunday evening where we have a prophetic word from the Lord then to share with our last day's church 
of more signs of the last day's prophecies that are happening now. Please make sure you're subscribed to and following this channel. Click the bell to get all notifications for our live streams and videos as we share more prophetic signs of the end time happening now as the end of this age is drawing near.